Hooray for Hollywood! Hello there. My name is Jan. I'm the sister of Stan the Movie Man. And this is the WIMZ.com Movie Review. Did I say that right? Yeah, I did. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a little nervous. This is my first time. Um, this week, your votes at WIMZ.com sent Stan to see Jack and Jill starring Adam Sandler. Now, Jack was a little under the weather, so he asked me to go in his place, and I'm so excited. Um, the movie uh, stars Adam Sandler, uh, Katie Holmes, and Al Pacino. Now, in the movie, uh, Jack and Jill are twins. Jack now lives in Los Angeles, California, and he has an advertising agency. Jill still lives in the old neighborhood back in Brooklyn, New York. Eve, uh, every year, she comes out to California to visit Jack and his family, his wife Erin, played by Katie Holmes, and their two children. And she stays in their home. Which makes Jack completely crazy because she is a psycho and completely annoying. Well, Jack's business is about to go under, and his biggest client, which is Dunkin' Donuts, wants to introduce a new drink with a name that sounds similar to Al Pacino. So, they decide they want Al Pacino to do their commercials for their new coffee drink, and if and, 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 and if Jack can't deliver, then they'll go someplace else and he'll go out of business. Well, as it turns out, uh, Jack takes Jill with him to a Los Angeles Lakers basketball game where Jack has the plan of meeting with Al Pacino, who has courtside seats. Oh, and he's sitting next to that dreamy Johnny Depp. Oh. Anyway, um, when uh, Al Pacino sees Jill, He's smitten, and Jack sees this as a way for him to be able to get Jack, uh, Al Pacino to do the commercial and save his company. Well, let me tell you, this movie is crude and vulgar in many, many ways. Uh, it is lazy storytelling, uh, and it has humor that would offend the sensibilities of a third grader. However, I loved it. It was just fantastic. Let me tell you, I laughed through the whole thing. Uh, I think the um, uh, visual style that they use to put uh, and, uh, Adam Sandler's character, Jack and Jill, in the same shot, talking to each other and interacting, is just brilliant. It's flawless. You can't tell that it's uh, two separate shots, shot at two separate times. The digital effects are amazing. And there are about two dozen celebrity cameos from everybody from from uh, Sandler's old Saturday Night Live buddies to uh, Bruce Jenner, hello, calling the Kardashians, and um, uh, 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 Shaquille O'Neal. I mean, oh my God, <laughs> it's just amazing. So, now, while the humor is juvenile, and the, the film does tend to, in my opinion, kind of strike a, a misogynistic tone at times, um, it, the, I laughed through the whole thing, and even though it's a, I realize it's a piece of trash, uh, it's a funny piece of trash. I found it very entertaining, and I'm giving it, what is it again? What is, oh, yeah, four guitars. <laughs> Go to WIMZ.com to read my complete review of the movie Jack and Jill, as well as to vote on the movie that my brother Stan will see next time. Uh, if you have any questions, you can send them to Stan at StanTheMovieMan at ATT.net. You can also follow Stan on Twitter, and he's so funny on Twitter. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's not really funny. Uh, on Twitter, uh, his, uh, his, his name on Twitter is at MovieManStan. Stan will be back next week, I promise. So until next time, toodles!